Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Game Corner. This will be Dark Cloud Part 8, and where we left off was we just finished the duel with this guy right here, and sadly I did not get excellent, and we left off on the scene of what happens afterwards. Anyway, let's take a look. I told you guys the cat was involved somehow. Now that I like doesn't move at all to protect something like a cat. I like that sword, by the way. The sword that this guy wields is monstrous, and it is really cool. The whole possessed eyes thing is really weird, too. And the music in the background as well is really good. Have the little one return the favor. Now that I don't understand at all. The whole walk off into the distance and magically disappear. I mean, the Fairy King at least flashes in and... Okay. It's been a while since I played this game and I do not remember that happening. Goes in the yes, it does. Okay, no sign of monsters. Okay, vent at Mahas. Now I officially have cat videos on YouTube. <laughs> Let's give it a name. Uh, like I did with Toen, I'm doing it the same thing with uh, all the characters. I'm keeping them all on their default names, which are the ones that show up. Now there's something very special about that event, and that's another thing about after events. They kick you out of their house, and what doesn't make the most sense, what doesn't make the most sense, yeah, that makes sense, <laughs> um, is that you get kicked out of your own house. Anyway, I just want to tell you something. Use item with square button, okay. Really need to work. That changes animal to human! Gee, I wonder what animal we're gonna use it on. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool, what happens. Just... Well, that's not human, that's more halfway, but sure, we'll call it human. Totally human. Master, are you a wizard? You're a wizard, Toan. Now, the design for this character was rather interesting, in my opinion, because of the whole she still has the bell around her necklace. 
and the fact that she's halfway human, not full human. Now, what Xiao uses is a slingshot, and that's another reason why I wanted to use the broken dagger glitch, which I will pop open another broken dagger. Anyway, the Fairy King has something important to tell you this time, which is really weird how he just pops in out of nowhere. You could be doing something like having a private discussion with the mom, and then the Fairy King will be like, Toan, I need to tell you something. Ally to help you through your adventure. Now let me give you some tip about allies. The only place you can call for your allies is inside a dungeon. Good idea to get help from an ally, they'll be happy to help you. However, you're the only one with the power of the Amelia that can break the seal of Atla. Which mean what he means by that, he which he didn't go into depth with, is that you're the only person that can touch Atla. If you're using another ally, you will not they will not be able to touch or open Atla whatsoever. Which is another great aspect in the game and I do apologize if I keep going like that's a great aspect yeah that's real do apologize for that now the benefit of using the broken dagger glitch is I can do this sell all my attachments and get money however the downside is that if you mess it up you will be stuck with a glitched item Hold on, I have to. Uh, yeah, I have to equip the dagger. Now you can pop as many broken daggers as you want. It's not recommended because the more you have, the more the game could glitch up, uh, glitch up and freeze. And this is going to be a ten-minute episode, mainly so. You know, I can get both the dungeon in and other things. This is more like a transitional episode. So this might be just uh, part 7.5 or something. Even though it's only just five minutes off. It's something funny you can do with a synthosphere. You can put it back in to the... What's it? The... Back into the broken dagger. Now see, that... That's why I'm talking about with the attack. The attack is only six, which isn't bad because the most an attack attachment can go up is three. So that's not terrible. But uh, endurance isn't bad. The speed, uh, I don't know how far the speed goes, but it's enough to max it out. And the magic power is only four. Everything you see, the attack, the endurance, the speed, and the magic power you need to do to build up and this thing can build up to a salt small sword or a sandbreaker I'm gonna go with sandbreaker but it's gonna give me a status effect called thirst but there's a good reason why I want to go there anyway but I never knew that about the broken dagger glitch the whole um if you have a synthosphere in your weapon won't do any damage but I don't think it will break either because you're not doing damage I have no clue right, more of these okay sell the mellow bananas because they hurt my thirst and I'm gonna sell away that now stand in power powder this is where th this item comes more in handy the excuse me the stand in powder allows you to call forth your ally after you've been knocked out. And I'm just actually just going to get one. Why did I buy all of those? And Revival Powder is also really good. Alright. Well, I hope you liked this video, even though there was no dungeon at all. And if you did like this video, remember to lick that like button, and I will see you all in the next step in the next video. Take care.